Good evening, guys. Um, Mike Peel back at you. Okay, today's topic is watching your end. Well, just... I can't see it, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. You don't want to see it. But anyway, so really watching your rear end if you're in a car, okay? How do you avoid yourself getting rear-ended because it's become a vicious, vicious car crash? Very vicious. You know, in the day when I got my license, we didn't have rear-end accidents. In the day back in the, the, well, I don't want to tell you how old I am, but let's just put it this way. In the mid-70s to, mid to early 80s, we didn't have rear-end accidents. Want to know why? Because our rule of thumb was for every 10 miles an hour you drove, how many car lengths back were you, Jane? One. Three. Oh. One per 10 miles an hour. Oh, one per miles 10 miles. miles. I'm sorry. Yes. If you were on a freeway at 70 miles an hour, you were seven car lengths back. Can you even imagine that in today's world? You no. know, now people want to drive 70 miles an hour and they can't even get a car in between. And then they think they, their foot is faster than the car in front of them. Uh, to get their foot off the gas under the brake. So that's why we have all those car types anyway. Uh, but really watch your rear end. How, how do you do it, all right? How do you focus behind you and lose focus of the front of you? Because that's a bad thing also. So first of all, we're gonna talk about you. How do you not rear end something? I want you to always remember this. When you follow another car, I don't care if it's 30 miles an hour or 70 miles an hour. When you come in behind another car, um, I want you to always ask your question, this question. Do you want to buy the car in front of you? Very simple, because if you hit it, they're going to get totaled out, okay? They're going to get totaled out if you hit it, okay? How do you beat this car to the brakes? Because you need to. If they slam their brakes on and you haven't already had your foot on the brakes, you're going to hit them. So that means you got to think faster than them. You have to be in their minds. How do you beat this car to the brake? Very simple. You know what you do? You look through all their windows and you got to watch three, four, five. Look at this. That's how many times these cars have crashed. You got to watch three or four or five cars up. When you see brake lights in the left lane, right lane in front of you, three, four cars up, get your foot off the gas on the brake, get ready because they see something you do not. And you will always beat the car you're following. You're going to beat them. Trust me. Just watch it. Get ready. Uh, you, you, you're going to learn something. You know, I went through. Of course, I always talk about the 1948 driver's ed manual. I went through this page by page. Nothing tells you how to not rear end somebody. In our current driver's ed manual, all right, nothing, nothing tells how you avoid rear ending somebody else, okay? I'm just telling you this. Back off. Don't get sucked into society. You don't want to buy that car because your insurance is going to go up. Uh, it's painful. It's something you don't want. It's humbling. It's just humbling to rear end somebody. You don't want to do it. So watch that car, three, four cars up. You see brake lights? Cover your brake. Get ready because you're, you're there. You're already over it. All right. Now, that one doesn't kill you when you bump somebody else. You just have to buy the car. Let's switch it to watch your rear end. Watch yours. So you're sitting at a stoplight. All right. You look in your rearview mirror. And you have a semi that happens, this just happened. You have a semi that happens to be not paying attention to what's going on in front of them. And they're barreling down on you at 50 to 60 miles an hour. I want you to know if they were in you, you're not going to, it's over. You're not going to be here tomorrow. Okay. Do you panic? What do you do? First of all, my questions are always this. Are you in the left lane? Because if you are, you're trapped. Sorry. You're at the mercy of the truck, shame on you. So if you're at the right lane, I want you to always look at the benefits you have to the way. We always, I, tell, I teach my students that all the time. Look at the benefits we have. Don't think of how fast you can get there. I want you, if, if a, if a, if a life-changing situation happens, I want you to look at the benefits for you to the right. Just look at that. Hills, the fence on the freeways are way up there, or highways. Um, you're not trapped into oncoming traffic when you're in that right lane. Normally, if it's a double lane, you have an eight-foot shoulder. Remember, 99% of the people die with two feet or less. So, remember this. Moving things catch eyes. So, the texter out there, okay? The texter is looking down, right? Looking at their phone screen, and they, they don't look up fast enough. 
You know, so a texter that looks at their, their message for five seconds covers like three football fields. Think about that. Who would close their eyes around the semi the length of three football fields going 60 miles an hour? You wouldn't do it. But guess what? People out there are doing it. And, and you're at risk with that. That's why I say, you know what? Watch your rear end. Okay, so if I am at the right lane there and I do look in my mirror, I'm stopped. And what I try and do, and what I try and teach my students, is is never stop at a red light. How do you not stop at a red light? Think about that. Oh, Mike's telling me not to stop. I'm going to go. No. What is Mike telling you to do is learn the rotations of your stoplights. You can see stoplights a half a mile back. If it's green and you're going 60 miles an hour and you're a half a mile back, you're probably going to hit a red light. Okay? So as you're coming up to that, I want you to assume that that light's going to turn yellow, red. All right? I'm not telling you to break or slow down. I'm telling you to watch the light, but see it far back. Because if it does turn yellow and then red, you're going to slow down sooner. You're going to try and always keep that car moving. Your car is going to move, even if it's only moving at three or four miles an hour. Why? Because that car flying up behind you is going to see the movement. Try not to look at the next moving billboard sign you go by. Just try not to look at it. Because when it flashes to a new thing, guess what? The eye catches it. It, it, that's why they do that. That's why they, they, you get 10 messages in the 20 seconds it takes you to get by them. So boom, that's why they do that. They're very, very smart. Okay. So if you can keep that movie, that, that car moving uh, just a tiny bit. And then when you stop, what I do is uh, what I teach is, is when I stop behind another car and I do have to stop at that red light because I, you know, it didn't turn green fast enough. I give myself at least two car lanes that I've stopped. And I wait until the car that's coming up behind me sees, I see that they're slowing down. And then I move a little bit more. And as they get closer, I move a little bit more. And as they get closer, I move a little bit more up to the point where I never get closer than seeing them back tires touching. Because when I see the back tires touching and they all of a sudden come in too fast, guess what I get to do? I get to dart out of there into the ditch. Remember, the ditch is our best friend. I get to dart out of there. All right. So if you can't see their back tires touching, you're at the mercy of the of the person behind you. And if it's a semi that weighs 40 tons going 50 to 60 miles an hour, it's going to take 15 of you to take the momentum out of that monster semi. Uh, you just you guys. Now, now I'm saying all this. You cannot focus your attention to your rear view mirror coming up to the back, the back of somebody because you're going to hit somebody. So, but you remember, you would keep them eyes rolling. Look at the front, look at the back, look at the front, look at the back. That's why look in vision. Get your vision to look way up. See it. See what's going on around you. See them green lights. If it's red half a mile back, guess what? You're going to have a green when you get to it. But if it's green, you're probably going to have a red. So you need to start checking what's going on around you. If there's a car directly behind you, that's a good thing. Because why? You get to slow that car down with you. And that's a great thing. So Jane, tell them how they can get some more information. Sure. And you know what? It's good for both of them. And the fact that you can move to the right instead of getting shot out into the intersection is also awesome for yeah. saving your life too. So yes, again, we have um, our resources are on drivesaferidesafe.com. Uh, Mike, of course, is on. Uh, we do these live programs every Sunday, and uh, we'd love to have you join us. And if not, we do have them recorded on YouTube, our YouTube channel, which is drivesaferidesafe.com on you, YouTube. And or you just go on there and the name is uh, live Q&A with Mike Peel and you can watch um, the many different. Yes, you can watch Mike. And also he will have um, information we have other recordings that we have done and so you can see a lot of different things um, and lessons from Mike as well and again you can also um, if you have questions that you want answered please send them to info at drivesaferidesafe.com we're here to help right Mike yes and, and you know if I could just piggyback off what Jane just said listen guys I'm here for one reason if I could take the knowledge I have here being a crash investigator for my whole life, when I see the kids, and the, not just kids, just adults, the people that die in these car crashes that don't have to, you know what? 
The crash still happens, but it's how you take the crash and whether or not you survive the crash. Never forget that. So we have so much information. There's so many things that why crashes happen that you need to know. You need to know them all. You need to build this portfolio in your mind. You need to be a defensive machine because the people that drive around you are not. I'm, I'm just telling you. Never forget this statement. Someone out there unintentionally, unintentionally, someone out there is out to change the way you live every day. Every day you get in that car as a driver or a rider, be ready for them. When you're ready, you get to react. With that, I'll see you next week.